This stitch is um, another version of stem stitch and as the name would suggest it's a raised stem stitch um, worked around a band. So we're going to put the band in first so I'm going to work that stitch up the stem here. So two parts so we're going to put these horizontal stitches in first and then we're going to wrap the stem stitch around the horizontal stitches. Now I'm going to do my stem in green so keep your bars in the same colour that you're going to work your stem stitch in. So I've got light green here. And I'm going to start at the bottom of this shape. Now you see it's got that nice beautiful point on it, which will come into play later. So I'm going to start across the widest part at the bottom and then I'll just go back and fill in. So straight up on that design line and I'm going to go horizontally across the stem. So as the stem turns around, as it curves around, we need to just slightly curve our bars with it so that that stitch is always horizontally across that stem. So straight down the other side, there's my first bar. Now we need to keep these at a nice even distance. I guess that's five or six millimetres apart. And straight across. So try and keep these parallel and horizontal to the stem. And I'm just going to go right down into this point. Okay, so go down as far as you, you can and then back up above that starting point. I'm just going to work all the way up the stem, trying to keep these nice parallel and a nice even distance between them. So all the way to the top of your stem with those bars, like so. Don't need to do one at the very top. I'm just going to finish that thread off. So we're going to use a new thread to do the stem. So those are the bars for my raised stem band. You can see just how they turn as they go around that stem. Right, so I'm going to come in with a, another green colour. I've got a dark green here. You can shade this if you want. We're going to get quite a few rows in this stem. So if you want to shade it across, you can. So we'll start with the darkest green. And we're going to start right down in the point of this stem. Now none of this stitch goes through <coughs> to the back of the fabric, it all stays on top other than the, the bottom and the very top there. So I'm going to come right down into this point to start. I'm going to line my thread in the direction that I'm going over to the left, make a loop so my needle is on the right and I'm going to just hold that out of the way so I can slip my needle underneath that first bar. So it's pointing towards me, the thread is round to the left, to my left and I'll just open that, you can see what that's doing. So it's going underneath that bar towards me and that's my first stem stitch. Now I don't want to pull it too tight, I don't want to pull the bars out of shape, so just a nice gentle tension on that. So then back in the direction that I'm going, thread round to the left, needle round to the right, and I'm going to come under that second bar. And make sure that needle goes over the top of this, you don't want it underneath like that. You want it to come over the top like so. So again, under the bar, pull it towards yourself. There's my second stitch. So you can see how it's wrapping around those bars now. So keep the thread to the left and the needle to the right and you should find you don't have any trouble with that. Straight ahead. Under the bar. So you're going under the next bar each time. All the way stem. Now you can see it's 
just a little bit loose. You can see how it's coming away. We can actually move it because it doesn't go through the fabric. We can move it over to the side, just push it with the needle. I wouldn't worry about that too much at this stage. The more stitches you get in, the more rows you get in, it will naturally do that anyway. So don't worry about that at the moment. Let's just get some rows in. And get in a in a rhythm. So over the next part, back underneath towards yourself, over underneath towards yourself. Just make sure that needle doesn't catch on any of the fabric. It should be nice and loose underneath there. Okay, so I'm right at the top now, just a little bit fiddly when you get to the end because it gets a bit narrow, but right at the top I've gone underneath that last barn over the top and just to finish that I'm going to go down at the end of my stem as far left as I can go so that it matches where I started that thread. Take that through to the back and you can finish that thread off and then start a new thread again for the next row. I've got my second thread now, let's just get rid of that. I'm going to start back down at the bottom and work my way back up that stem. So I'll do another row to show you again. And I'm going to follow the shape of this curve. So I'm going to bring that needle up right next to that first row, but just up a little bit on that curve so we get that beautiful shape at the bottom. So thread over to the left, needle to the right, underneath that first bar. Now it's quite tight there because it's only a narrow one but you can just move the stitches out the way and slide the needle in there. Just fiddle with it and make it go where you want it to go. So pull it towards me, back in the direction I'm going, just hold it out to the side underneath that second bar, make sure that needle doesn't cross that thread there. Just looping it around each time. Over to the right, and as the bars widen out you'll find it a little bit easier. You can see now how it's starting to raise itself up from the fabric. You can just push that over if you like, but they will push together as you put more rows in. Just do it with my left hand so you can see what I'm doing. So underneath that bar, like so. And then over that last bar, Again, a little bit fiddly towards the top just because it's so narrow, but just take your time over the last one and then down at the end, right next to that first one. A bit tight, you can see that starting to come together now. Finish that thread each time you get to the top. So we're just going to keep working up the stem now. I'm going to change colour and do a light green now. Um, and as you get towards the top now you'll discover that you can't get as many rows in as the top that you can get in the bottom because the bottom's wider. So just keep going and getting as many in as you can. Um, I think we'll get probably one more row in at the top there, so I'll put that one in and show you. And then the next row you'll have to finish whenever you meet the line. So they'll finish each time a little bit further down that stem until you've filled in the whole shape. So don't worry about how many rows you need to get in. Just put in as many as you need to fill that shape, starting and stopping on the design line to help you get the shape. So I'll do this one more row to show you. Changing colours now, so I'm just going to shave it across. 
just pull them to the side so I need to come up next to it there on that curve and away we go again now I'm actually point this out while I'm here I'm actually past that first bar now but that's okay I'm just going to start where the line dictates I'm going to start actually under the second bar now already ahead of it and then off we go again so we're on the last row now so you can see I filled in all of the stem so just squeeze one more row in there just to finish it off It's only going to be a little short one now because I've covered up to about here so I'm just going to take it just past this leaf here I think one more under there just keep these rows going as long as you can and when you can't get them under the bars anymore that's the time to stop so that's as far as I can go and then just to finish that off rather than going down at the end as I have up here just slide that needle underneath those stitches get rid of that thread Take that and my knot and there we have a beautiful red stem band